Okay, now confer to your eCompanion website and look at the figure that has the states here going from AA to TT and these likelihood scores as 0 .00 something. Okay, we consider a data set that consists of G, T, and T. Those are the observed data. And what we're trying to figure out is what was the state at this node and this node. Those are the missing data. And let's imagine a tree with branch lengths of 0 .9, 0 0.09 from here to here, 0 .04 from here to here, and 0 .05 from here to here, and here to here. Okay, so we have the data and we have some branch lengths. What is the probability that this was an A? Is it zero? No, of course not. It could have been an A. Not likely, because none of the terminal states, none of the observed data are A. But the probability that this is an A and this is an A, and then it changed to a T and a T, and from here to here changed to a G, that's small. And we look here, it's one of the smallest likelihoods. Can you predict what a larger likelihood might be? Of course, it could be G and T. The likelihood that this was a G and this was a T is greater than the likelihood that this was an A and this was an A, if these branch lengths are short enough. Okay? Let's look at that GT value. The probability that this was a G and this was a T is the highest in that entire table. Other, just think about other likely um, probabilities. How about this being an A and this being a T? That's right here. And indeed, it is one of the more probable distributions of character states at the internodes. So what likelihood is doing is calculating the probability of every possible state at the missing internodes and summing them into a combined probability of this tree with this branch length, you, you add them all together and you get 0.1687. Then we're going to take the likelihoods at each site and multiply them together. This is how we calculate a likelihood score.